Hey, how's it going everyone? My name is Ryan and welcome back to Iowa Classic Cars. Today I've got a treat for you. This is a 1960 Chevy Impala convertible with a 348 and a factory four speed. I'm here with my buddy Tim, who's the owner of the car. Yeah, I've had this car since uh, about 2005 and um, I bought it from a friend of mine. It took me quite a few years to get it bought. I think I first car, saw the car um, in the mid 90s, maybe early 90s, and uh, was trying to buy it. I finally got it done in, in the mid, around 2005. It um, was basically all the chrome, all the trim was in the trunk, along with the bumpers. Uh, the brakes were all locked up, of course. Mark, Mark, the guy I bought it from, he bought the car in 1979, and um, him and his dad just went to work on it. Um, and never did get to drive it after they started uh, the restoration. So, uh, it still has its um, complete original carburetor to starter, numbers matching 348 four, four barrel in it. It's got a three speed. Um, and right now, um, there's a gear that's uh, broke off in the three-speed, and I'm just getting ready to put a, a Saginaw four-speed in it. So, Tim, do you care if we uh, we look at the motor here? So now, did you rebuild the motor, or did you? Is this how you got the car? No, this uh, the motor was not rebuilt. It was not uh, stuck, uh, but I did you know points, plugs. I painted uh, under hood on everything. Uh, of course, rebuilt the the carburetor. Um, I had the uh, generator rebuilt. It is a power steering uh, power brake car, which was somewhat unusual back then and a kind of a neat thing here on 1960s this is the first year of actual power steering and not you know oh, the power generator. assist off the generator right, so right. that is correct right there for 1960. yep so is the wiring all i mean wiring is all original i didn't do it i, I rewrapped the wiring i think that's all i did still has one t3 headlight on it now for anyone that doesn't know Tim, what exactly does T3 mean, as you can see right that, that there? That means it's the original. That's what the car came out with back when it was brand new. Now, they do uh, make uh, repops for them, you know, on the T3s, but that's that's original to this car. Now, also, you guys, like I was saying in the last video, the gold cross flags indicate it's a 348. And those are reproduction. They are reproduction. Oh, they do reproduce them now? Yeah. So you've had this car since the early 2000s. And what you were telling me is the top and the paint are not original, but they're vintage repaint, correct? That's correct. It was painted in about 1979 or 80. Doors open real nice. Still. I do want to get a new interior kit for it and get that installed. But, um, you know, sometimes when you get too many cars, you just can't keep up on all of them. <laughs> so as you see here, this knob right here, We'll raise and lower the top to power top. I want to go to the other side to show you the four speed column. So to tell if this is a true four speed car, usually on that collar right there, there'd be a, a hole for the three speed shifter but on the four-speed cars, they were cast and nothing was there. So that is a true four-speed column, and it's a hard-to-find item. There's also the floor shifter. Door panels show their age, but they're very nice for being 60 years old. Gapping is perfect. Has a car ever been in any accidents, anything like that that would? Not that I'm aware of. And another uh, little tidbit on this car is um, I was uh, south of town about, I don't know, 12 years ago and I, at a party and I parked it out by the highway and we were in the house, and a bunch of car guys, and uh, 
a guy came to the door asking for the owner of this car. And uh, so they came and got me and went outside. And the original owner that bought this car, brand new, who was just driving by, never met him before in my life, he, was, uh, he lived about 20 miles from here. And he recognized this car and uh, gave me a lot of history on it. And so I, I know almost every, as far as I know, owner that has had this car. Is the guy still alive or? Yeah, he's still alive. He uh, still lives uh, 20 miles from here. And uh, he, he stops by and takes a look at, look at it every once in a while. That's cool that you have the full history from, from brand new to. There's, uh, the people that he sold it to, I don't know them. I never have talked to them. I have their name, but I've never been able to get in contact with them. But at least you know yeah. who they are. Well, Tim, can you show us the trunk here as well, just to kind of give you guys all a uh, an idea how big these trunks were back in the day. He's got two tires, a four speed, a ton of boxes, new exhaust. And what we got here, we just have the clutch uh, parts here. I got entire exhaust that I need to get put on it. Now this is, this is a spare with the original rim. This is just an extra uh, white wall that I, that I had. And you could still probably get another person in here to smuggle them into the, yeah, the drive-in. Right. That's true. The gas tank is right here, brand new gas tank. Uh, the fuel lines are in another room, and so I'm going to just redo all that. Because I've struggled keeping uh, the fuel filters um, clean on this, and it, I'm just going to take the tank, whole tank out and the lines out and just replace them. Is the sticker here? I know this is just a sticker, but is that a repop or a? That's, that's a repop. Okay. Another thing, you guys, on convertible onlys is this brace right here. So if you're ever looking, at a convertible you know 59 or 60 project make sure that's there because if it's not it's probably a conversion and a lot of guys forget to put that in and another thing that impressed me with this car see this insulation here same way if you go up to under the hood in the engine compartment that's all original that's not anything that i did that's still original it's in very good shape yeah it's very clean for being 60 years old yeah. well tim do you care if we uh we Take this thing up and look at the floors. Yep. So as you guys can see, the steering has been at least fixed or rebuilt here with new lines, but it is power steering. Original oil pan, the three speed that's still in it. The floors do have a little bit of rust, not terrible, but you know, back in the day when this car was fixed, you couldn't get a full floor pan. So they kind of patched it here and made do with what they had at the time. Car is definitely presentable, definitely drivable. Would it need a, would it need a full floor pan? You know, probably if you want to do it period correct and, and make it perfect, but for what it is, it's a hell of a nice car. Original gas tank. Another fun fact about these cars is all convertibles have a non-Canadian boxed frame. I'm not sure why they did that, but some cars in the States, or I should say in the Midwestern States, will have a full box frame, which means uh, right there, this is a box, you know, it's boxed in, and this whole thing would be closed off. But on convertibles, they're always open on the rear. I'm not sure why they did that but kind of a, a neat little fact for you. The one thing I didn't touch on is this car has got factory spinner hubcaps and you can basically just buy the cap and you take a non spinner hubcap and just drill four holes in the center and bolt that spinner on. So that's a non spinner cap right there. He bought a set of NOS spinners, simply drill four holes, put the nuts on the back and you're and you're in good shape. They don't actually spin, they're near a faux style. Um, but when you're going 70 miles an hour, they definitely look like they're, they're spinning with the car. So everybody, that concludes the video for today. Thank you, Tim, so much for letting me come down and film this beautiful 60. Well, thank you, Ryan. I really appreciate you coming to stop by and taking a look at it. If you guys did enjoy the video and this car, please make sure to give it a like rating. Leave a comment with your favorite feature on this car, as well as subscribe if you are new for more classic car videos on a weekly basis. Thank you all for watching. My name is Ryan, and until next time, thanks for watching.